to today's topic is comma rule, okay? Comma rule with states, okay? What that means, I'm going to get to it a bit, okay? And this rule, I did not know. I've been teaching since 2008, and this was the first time I ever heard of this rule, which is kind of crazy to me. Which on one hand, maybe this rule is not that important, but if it's something I don't know, then I assume that you guys don't know it either, so we should learn about it. Okay, now let's solve this problem first. Uh, 17 doesn't matter, I just the screenshot just worked out this way. Let's look at number 16. So with our basic knowledge that we have of looking for errors as it is, and by the way, guys, this is a real ACT problem, not SAT, but the same grammar rules apply for both us. Or you could also take the ACT. ACT is also going online next year. So a lot of international students, that might also be a good path for you. I'll make a video on that later. Anyway, so as we always do, we um, look at the sentence as it is and identify the error. So what's wrong with it as it is? In the early 1900s, when Auburn Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia became an interesting location for African-American businesses and culture. Okay, the word when makes this not a sentence. So this is out. Like if I do, I slept. Yeah, that's a sentence. Good. That, that works. When I slept. No longer a sentence. I need to say, when I slept, my cat played. Something like that, right? I need something else. Why? Because this is technically, uh, well, it's a, it makes it a subordinate clause. I, you don't care about the grammar terms, do you? It makes it not a sentence, okay? Words like when, okay? Any type of uh, prepositional phrase as well. All right. So, because of the word when, it's not a sentence. So, you take it out. Same thing. Uh, answer choice H also ends with when. So take it out. And then answer choice J. The word as. Very similar uh, in function here. Also makes it not a sentence. Same thing. If I say as I slept. Can't just end the sentence here. Well, what happened as I slept? As I slept, a tornado came. Well, whatever it is, right? So, But I need the rest of the sentence. So I can't do this. So elimination method wise, it's all three are out. And I think this is also why maybe I didn't run across the rule. Because you didn't need the rule to get this right. But especially digital SAT. Because they made the test shorter in terms of the grammar questions, punctuation rules they can throw at you. They're also trying to make the questions a little bit weirder. So this could be something they throw at you. Okay. So we just solved that, right? So the answer is G. <clears throat> During the early 1900s, Auburn Avenue became an interesting location. Okay, that's a sentence. That's fine. Why is there a comma? Let me erase these marks. Why is there a comma here? Why? Because um, my students thought, is there a typo here? Is ACT making an error? So therefore, there's no real answer here. Well, this is a real ACT question. So no, no error here. Okay. Comma rule with states. So you might have learned. I learned when I was a kid, right? Um, when I write the city name in some place in the United States, and then I put the state that it is in, then I put a comma in between. So if I go, um, oops, um, I am from... Um, let's see. Uh, any city name would work. I am from Houston. I'm not. This is an example question, uh, pro sentence. Texas. Right, so you put a comma between the town name, or the city name, and the state. That's, what, that's just what you do. However, did you guys know that if I put this in the middle of a sentence, as is the case here, I have to put a comma after the state as well? Which to me looks bad. This looks weird to me. But that's the official rule. I googled it. Okay. And I very rarely have to. Again, I don't remember when's the last time to Google a grammar rule. All right. So let's look here. So I went to Houston, Texas. So normally, Texas should be capitalized. The sentence just ends with the state name. So we never have to use a rule, which is why I think I didn't know the rule. But if I keep going, I went to Houston, Texas to get... Uh, supplies. Whatever supplies. I don't care. <clears throat> That's the correct way to write it. You do, I went to Houston, comma, Texas, comma, to get supplies. Why? When you put town name and state name in the middle of a sentence, you need a comma after both. You just do. I think it looks horrible. I don't think you should need it, but you do. That's a real grammar rule. I was almost embarrassed to even talk about this because how have I not known this as an English teacher for 16 years? 17 years? I'm getting old. But you should never be embarrassed to learn something, right? As I said before. So, yeah, that's the rule. 
Um, let me know in the comments if this is a very widely known rule and I have been just having this piece of knowledge missing in my brain. That'd be kind of interesting. Or did you guys know about this rule? Did everybody just like make a little plan to never tell me about it? Yeah, I don't know. So that's a common rule. I know it's very specific, but I thought you guys probably wouldn't know it either. So I shared it with you guys. Okay. So I probably put the state name and the town name. Yeah, I need a comma after, but okay. So yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. And see you guys in the next quick and dirty video. As you guys study every day, sexy day, you already know. And as always, let me know in the comments whatever topic you want to see me cover. And I'll get to them. Bye, guys.